In this session, we'll look at how we can create true offsets using the offset gap type system variable. Now, generally speaking, when we use the offset command, we are creating a parallel copy. That being said, parallel copies aren't always the best solution for every offset. Let me show you what I mean. On my screen, I have some geometry that represents an existing stream. To the north and south, we can see these polylines. These represent the edges of my wetland. I've also created this hatch pattern to help delineate the wetland area. Now let's assume we'll be doing some construction on the north side of the stream, and I want to ensure that the construction stays out of the wetland area. To do that, I'm going to define a 50-foot wetland buffer, and I'll create that buffer using the Offset command. Here on the Home tab in the Modify panel, I'll launch Offset. I would like to offset my geometry onto the current layer, so I'm going to select the Layer option, and I'll choose Current. My offset distance is going to be 50 feet. I will then select the edge of the wetland, and I'll offset this to the outside. Let's zoom in. Now here's my problem. This geometry that I created represents a parallel copy. For that reason, it's actually larger than it has to be, and it's larger at these outside corners. Let's take some quick measurements. I will measure from this corner to this corner. We can see that's greater than 50 feet. And if I dimension this corner, we can see it's more than 60 feet. For me to have the most accurate 50 foot buffer, I should really be filleting these outside corners with a radius that matches my offset distance. Fortunately, I can do that automatically. Let me delete these entities. I'm going to select them, and I'll press the Delete key. I will then zoom out, and we'll center this. And then I'm going to enter a system variable called Offset Gap Type. I'm going to set that to 1 to turn it on. When Offset Gap Type is active, it will round the outside corners of your offsets. Let's create that buffer again. I'm going to go back to the Home tab, and I'll launch Offset. The previous settings are perfect, so I'm just going to tap the spacebar. I will select the edge of my wetland, and I'll offset this to the outside. Once again, we'll zoom in, and you can see I'm getting a much more accurate representation of that 50-foot buffer. Once again, we'll take some quick measurements. Let's create a measurement from nearest this edge to the corner. I can see that's exactly 50 feet. We can do one more from nearest this edge to the corner, and that's exactly 50 feet as well. Now that I'm finished with my rounded offsets, I'm going to put things back to normal. I'll do that by right-clicking. I'll go to Recent Input. I'll choose Offset Gap Type, and I'm going to set that back to zero. As you can see, a parallel copy isn't always the best solution for an offset. In the event you're offsetting geometry to create things like buffers, limits, safety zones, or impact areas, try using the Offset Gap Type system variable to create the most accurate offset for your needs. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.